The purpose of this video is to learn how to attach the mount for the 1024 development kit. The mount will attach to the base in much the same way as a regular mount will, with three screws. Here's what the 1024 development kit mount looks like. To begin with, center three of the holes on the base for the development kit mount over three of the holes on the base of the Jet Expert, as shown on your screen. Next, take the third largest provided Allen wrench and use it to push one of the screws up through one of the three holes on the base plate. You may need to move the mount slightly at this point until the holes line up. Tighten the screw. Insert and tighten the other two screws in a similar manner. Once the three screws are tightened, we'll want to remove the three wig nuts from the top of the threaded discs. Now we're ready to place the 1024 development kit on the mount. It goes right on top, over the three spokes. Movement of the head towards and away from the camera is accomplished as with a regular mount, with a stage shown. Movement along a row of nozzles is also accomplished the same way, with this stage. Vertical motion of the head, however, is accomplished differently, by turning the three threaded discs. Now we'll swap out the mount for the 1024 development kit with a more standard mount. Sorry. We'll begin by removing the four screws which connect the red frame to the horizontal stage. Next, we'll remove the two screws which hold the brace for the horizontal stage, here and here, as well as a third screw in the back. For the third screw, we'll need a slightly smaller Allen wrench. Next, we'll remove the two screws which hold the horizontal stage and shift it forward. Once those two screws are tight, we're ready to attach the mount for the new head. We'll use two of the screws that we used to attach the frame for the mount for the 1024 development kit. Now we're ready to attach the new head.